Hello, True Crimers! It's time for another episode of Deaths in Tinseltown, a subcategory of Murdered in Tinseltown. This handsome devil behind me was named Anton Yelchin. He was born on March 11th, 1989 in Russia. Both of his parents at the time were well-known figure skaters. Anton lived, though, most of his life here in the States because they moved here just after he was six months old. He would make his film debut in the year 2000, in a movie called A Man is Mostly Water, but he was most known for his performance as Chekhov in the new Star Trek movies. Perhaps his breakout role was in Charlie Bartlett, a very fantastic movie that also stars uh, Robert Downey Jr. He was also well known for the movie Green Room and for the remake of Fright Night, which also had Colin Farrell. Yelchin was considered still a rising star. He had roughly, I think, seven or eight projects that were actually in the uh, making at the time of this unfortunate event. In 2012, he purchased this home in Studio City, California um, for about $945,000. That's a, that's a, that's a lot. However, very sadly, on June 18th, 2016, a, I guess you can call it a freak accident, happened to Anton. You see, Anton Yelchin drove a 2015 Jeep Cherokee. Just two months prior to the incident I'm about to talk about, there were 1.1 million recalls of this particular vehicle, specifically because the gear shift was confusing drivers and it actually would cause the vehicles to roll on their own unexpectedly. And it led to a whole bunch of injuries, but at that point, no actual deaths. That is until June 18th, 2016. Anton Yelchin had driven his Cherokee up to the front of his driveway, and it's not known why he got out of the vehicle, but the gear shift malfunctioned and the vehicle rolled backwards. And what would happen, unfortunately, was it ran into um, Anton and it pinned him against this exact metal gate and the little brick pillar there. He did not die on impact. They believe he was alive for at least a few minutes because his exact cause of death was he suffocated. It essentially had crushed and pinned him, you know, against his lungs and his chest and he couldn't breathe. He would not be discovered until a little bit later that day when he failed to show up for an audition. A group of friends of his discovered his body. A lawsuit was filed against the uh, Fiat Chrysler company by Anton's parents and they actually settled to an undisclosed amount of money. He was a really good actor, by the way. He would have had a great career. Sad. 